Kansas is very important for the VFC because there's a culture built for it there. There's been several fight nights in Junction City, Kansas, Manhattan, Kansas. There's been a VFC in Wichita, Kansas, and it's created a culture for those kinds of fights in the area. Now go into a bigger city like Topeka, the capital city. It's gonna be a good time. I'm excited for the state and I'm excited for the fans in Topeka. The fights that are mainly piquing my interest, for sure one of them is the main event. Abe Wagner and Daniel Gallimore, I know them both personally. Anytime you've got two giants in there like that, you can expect them to go out and kind of have a punch each other in the face contest. It's an old fashioned kind of fight. Those are the kind of fights fans like to see, especially when it's two huge guys like that. Ivy Nixon is fighting out of Junction City, Kansas, which is right down the road from me. And I remember when the kid moved to town and everyone's like, man, this kid's super tough. And you could just get tired beating him up all day. And I've seen people do that. He doesn't have any quit in him. You know, I've seen the kid be underneath the mount position and he's trading punches with the guy from his back upwards. And so the gravity should be winning for this top guy, right? But Ivy can beat people up from there. I've seen him do it in more than one fight and it's just so unorthodox. And there's no way to train for it. You're not gonna know what to expect until you get out there and it's in your face. In the co-main event at VFC 50, we have a very interesting fight for the featherweight title. Jared Mercado's our champion. He's taking on Polga, a black zillion, coming from Florida. Mercado defeated a very tough Alonzo Martinez for that title in Omaha. He earned the title. He's looking to defend it. Polga's coming from the black zillions. They're trying to have their own little takeover of the VFC. This is one step in that direction for them if he can come and secure the featherweight title. The Battle of the Flying Knees, Yuri Villaforge versus Cody Carrillo. Both super nice guys outside of the cage and knock people's teeth out inside there. We saw a huge highlight reel knockout from Yuri Villaforge in his debut in the VFC. And Cody Carrillo has kind of been a staple as a tough opponent in the VFC. And I think that you can expect these two to go for big finishes, to take chances, to try to hurt each other in the stand-up game. And that makes for an exciting fight at VFC 50. It's always about getting in there in the square cage, cornering your guy and going for the finish. Everybody seems to have that attitude when you show up at a VFC fight. Not coming here to just win, but coming here to finish the guy that they're fighting. All the fans, when they come out, to the Topeka Expo Center to see VFC are gonna be shocked. It's gonna be bigger than what they're even expecting. Lots and lots of big fighters on a big time show and I think that the fans and the people of Topeka are really in for a treat for VFC 50.